Well, nice try, Mars. But now the right one lifts and the left one cradles. Till now, the guys have always worked as a team. Well, this is just to tide you over till you find the one you want. That's what Mother said about Al. Now look at it. Thinking of Al is not going to help anyone. Yeah, you're right. But I can't help it. I feel lower than I did on our honeymoon when I realized Al wasn't holding back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Kelly's not home. Mrs. Bundy? Yes? You're under arrest. What for? Parking tickets. Oh, well, that can't be. That's impossible. My car isn't even registered. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, isn't there something we can do about this? We can dance. Oh! I was just outside checking the car. Uh, the meter is a little low. I'm gonna need about six dollars and quarters. Here are your bras, sir. Would you like some paddles to go with them? No, I don't have a ping pong table. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you straight? The hairs on my chest are. <laughs> Oh, good. Maybe you can help me. If you were my boyfriend, would you like this? Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Will he like it? <laughs> or do you think he'd like it better without the bra? Like this? <laughs> I don't need the bra. <laughs> you know, they change everything good. Remember full service gas stations? They used to give you gas, change your oil, and wash your windows. Now they just look up your dress, say pay before you pump, and America, please. <laughs> they do it with TV shows, too. Remember Mission Impossible? They canceled it. What'd they replace it with? Mission Impossible. <laughs> I miss eight track tapes. <laughs> I'm not paying you to speak, dear. Hi, Mom. Dad dead? <laughs> Well, then I guess this is a good time to discuss my new allowance. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. He's just an exotic dancer that Mrs. Rhodes got for Mommy's birthday. It's just a rental. Hi, Mom. Dad dead? <laughs> just in spirit. Well, I gotta go. Bar exam tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, ma'am. You're very gifted. Mind if I get dressed upstairs? Oh, yeah. First door on the right. Just follow the trail of tears. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bundy. I was trying to wash my car, but I'm just a weak little woman. Would it be asking too much for you to come over? You know, without your shirt. And uh, buff my bumpers. <laughs> Heidi, Heidi, Heidi Ho. Now, don't go getting your nose hairs in an uproar. You are not going anywhere. Now, I don't know where this sexy I'm a human being nonsense came from, but it's going to stop right now. Too late. The fuse is lit and the fire is on. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> It's an Al Inferno. <laughs> Mars.
Marcy, I tell you, this is serious. Something is going on. He showered. <laughs> in the morning. Now, the only time that Al used to shower was right after we had sex. Immediately after. Sometimes even during. And you know what else? He bought a toothbrush. Oh. With a rubber tip. Oh. oh, Peggy. I know. I don't know what to do. He's happy. He smells good. He's even making more money at the shoe store. And last night, when I was rifling through his pants to get some of it, I found these. Tic Tacs! <laughs> Well, according to the book I've just read, Keep Him Down, Keep Him Down, Keep Him Down, A Woman's Guide to Happiness. <laughs> you don't really have to worry until a man stops buying white underwear. The time to sweat is when men buy underwear in a tube. You know, the bright colored ones that fat European men use as bathing suits? Well, I don't have to worry about that. Al would never give up his white Hanes underwear. Size 34, three to a pack. I know that because I bought him a three pack a couple of years ago, and he still has two he hasn't even used yet. <laughs> ladies, excuse me, I should say lovely ladies. in the middle of the day. Well, I just thought I'd freshen up a bit with a shower and then go back to work. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you seen my new underwear? <laughs> Zebra stripe. Uh-huh. He looks just as good going as he does coming. <laughs> Marcy! Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Hey, you gotta come up and check me out in my new underwear. Oh, you can bring Marcy, too. Can we, Peggy? Can we? <laughs> a large foot? You, madam? Oh, no. You merely have a full-figured foot. <laughs> oh, you? <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Oh, please. Now, how many ballet slippers can I fix you up with? You've been so delightful. I'll just take them all. <laughs> this is for the shoes. Thank you. And this is for the cookie monster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, serving number 57. <laughs> Take a number. Oh, two. What's shaking, babe? Every chin in this store. Look, honey, I went shopping for food, <laughs> and I brought you some very special treats. Bread and cheese. <laughs> Just picture them all nicely laid out on a paper plate. Oh, come home with me, honey. Ah, uh, sweetheart, you are a pearl. But as you can see, I have to be here for a long time. I baked you a pie, Mr. Bundy. Al, Peggy, we have a little announcement. <laughs> Jefferson and I are pregnant. Oh, oh, oh Marcy, that's great! Yep, 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 yep. I knew it right away, too. You know how when Michael Jordan goes up in the air, he just knows he's gonna do something special? Well, I had the same feeling when I approached the hoop. <laughs> There was no blocking that shot, eh, baby? <laughs> oh, isn't this wonderful, Al? Yeah, Al, I'm gonna be a father. D don't you have anything to say to me? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a dead man. It's all over. Today is the first day of the end of your life. 
Hey, I'm looking forward to being a father. To hear my child say its first words, take its first steps. Yeah, keep that in mind when you're at the newsstand at 3 a.m., praying they'll be asleep before you get home with your copy of Heine. <laughs> well, what a grand gesture. And soon my hell hounds will be out of the house and I'll be free, free, free. Except for her. <laughs> God, I feel great. I'm almost happy. Let me revel in it. Uh, Al, I think this might be a good time yeah, to not tell now, you. Yeah, not now, babe. <laughs> Once my kids leave the house, I'll finally be able to do what every man is supposed to do. I can watch TV. I can... <laughs> Well, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still better than having a screaming, crapping, money-sucking little vampire <laughs> bobsledding me to the cemetery. <laughs> God, I feel good. <laughs> Honey? Yes. <laughs> Guess what? what? I'm pregnant too! <laughs> My journal. <laughs> Five months ago, you say? Oh, Al, isn't it a dream? No, it better be. <laughs> Let's see now. April, April. Ah, here we go. April, week one. Sold shoes, watch TV. <laughs> week two, sold shoes, watch TV. Wept. <laughs> week three, sold shoes, had a few beers, passed out. Uh-oh, I dreamt I fell in the washing machine, woke up feeling cheap. <laughs> Peg, what in God's green earth did you do to me? Well, I couldn't help myself. You look so cute trying to pull your underwear up over your head. <laughs> well, I'm not made of stone, you know. Peggy, this is so exciting. We can be pregnant together. Oh. Yeah, Al, congratulations, this is great. Gee, our kids will grow up together and they'll be old enough to leave the nest together. Gee, I'll be in my 50s when that happens and you'll be, what, 102? <laughs> now, Al, promise me you won't do anything with Coco. Hey, she paid 500 grand. <laughs> she wants the boodle, baby. <laughs> Well, then promise me when you're in bed with her, you won't enjoy it. Because I think I can assure you that she won't. <laughs> now, honey, this is a wonderful thing you're doing for your family, and I want you to know we're all very proud of you. Mom, the limo's here. Oh, Al, that's our limo to take us to our new Lakeshore condo. Well, honey, don't be a stranger. You know where we live. <laughs> well, actually, you don't. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Gee, I'll miss you, Al. I'll miss you too, Peg. <laughs> Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye. <clears throat> oh, why, oh, why was I cursed with these good looks? <laughs> This rock hard body, this hold me hiney, this <laughs> face that's a homing signal for Hooters. <laughs> you are one fine $500,000 piece of beef.
I've waited a long time, Al. <laughs> you, uh, you're on my side of the bed. <laughs> What's the difference? I don't know. If I roll out in the middle of the night and get confused and go to the bathroom in the hall. Okay, I'll move over. Here. Is this better? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got my pillow all warm. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Uh, you know, maybe you could get me a glass of water. Water? Yeah. Okay. In a glass or on the front of your pants? We don't use glasses, but paper cup be nice. Uh, uh, it's just me. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I, I just forgot a few things. It's thirsty. <laughs> he likes his pillow cool. Well, bye. Oh, and I, I don't believe that you bought my pillow. <laughs> Well, stud, giddy up. <laughs> All right, get up. Get up. That's my bed and, and my husband. Here's your check and get out. <laughs> My check. It's just a piece of paper. Gee. <laughs> it's amazing how a page out of the TV guide can look like a check. <laughs> Here. Go buy yourself your own ring around the collar worker. This big lug is mine. It's times like this I'm glad there's a Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> You're gonna buy ice cream? No. I'm gonna go buy Ben and Jerry. <laughs> hey, Al, could you change seats with me? I can't see. Can't see what, Peg? It's halftime. Yeah, but I think that's Joe Piscopo over there. Over there, Peg, that's an usher. Wait a second, that is Joe Piscopo. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. Change seats with me. I won't ask you for another thing, I oh, promise. Come on. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Basket of Cash. Some lucky fan will get a chance to shoot from the free throw line for $10,000. And tonight's lucky contestant is sitting in Section 8, Roby C2. That's me! That's me! It's me! It's you! Congratulations, miss. Right wait, this way. Wait, wait, wait a second. Now, see, see, she's not me. I'm her. Now, see, that was nice. See, we switched. Tell him, Peg. It's me. It's me. <laughs> That's not fair. She doesn't have a chance in hell of making the shot. That's the way we like it. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And now, the precision choreography of our own all-star cheerleaders. <laughs> My name's Kelly. I can make you very happy. You can show me how to set my VCR. If necessary. Here's my phone number. There's only six numbers. Well, come on, I'm not easy. Charlie, <laughs> okay? 
We can make it happen. Look, there it is. Look. Okay, Miss Bundy, we'll be shooting in about five minutes. Here are the rules. You get one shot from the free throw line, make it, and you win $10,000. Sounds easy. Any questions? Yeah, just one. What's a free throw line? <laughs> <laughs> Don't spin it all in one place. Should be ready, wise guy. Oh. Hey, shave your head, give me your hair, I'm taking the shot. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Al. I'm sure that if I practice, I can be just as good as that smoking Joe Lewis or any of those other quarterbacks. Another slow day, eh, God? <laughs> okay, now look, Peg. Now, pretend that I'm the basket. I don't know, honey. I've pretended you're a lot of things. A cowboy, a, a knight, Mr. T, dead, but a basket. <laughs> Peg, concentrate. This is $10,000. Do you know what I could do with $10,000? Take 10,000 trips to the nudie bar. No, Peg. Just one great one. $10,000 riding on this shot. 10,000 people rooting for you or against you. Go ahead and shoot it, baby. <laughs> the court's all yours, Peg. $10,000. Gee, I wonder if I could get a cheerleader for that. $10,000? Gee. I wonder if I could get a player for that. Hey, if we'd had her instead of Ain't, we'd have won the championship. <laughs> no, no, Peg, no, that's all right. You gave it your best shot. You're not disappointed, Al. Disappointed, Peg. It's the only way it could be. I wanted it, I needed it, I deserved it. How else could it have turned out? Then it's your fault. From the minute I said I do. <laughs> <laughs>